the Earth's magnetic field is essential for our survival. It protects us from the harmful radiation of the Sun and plays a crucial role in the planet's climate and weather. However, the origin and mechanisms behind the Earth's magnetic field are still not fully understood. Scientists know that the magnetic field is generated by the motion of molten iron in the planet's core, but the details of this process are still being studied. Unraveling the mysteries of the Earth's magnetic field could have significant implications for our understanding of the planet's history and future. The quest for knowledge, the scientific significance of the Kola Superdeep Borehole. For decades, scientists have been fascinated by the mysteries that lie beneath the Earth's surface. One of the most ambitious attempts to uncover those secrets was the Kola Superdeep Borehole, a project that aimed to drill a hole deeper into the Earth than ever before. Although the project was ultimately abandoned before reaching its ultimate goal, the Kola Superdeep Borehole remains a testament to the power of human curiosity and the quest for knowledge. The Kola Superdeep Borehole was located on the Kola Peninsula in northwestern Russia. The project was initiated in the early 1970s and aimed to drill a hole to a depth of 15,000 meters, 49,200 feet, or more, which would have been more than three times deeper than any hole previously drilled. The purpose of the project was to study the Earth's crust and mantle, and to gain a better understanding of the planet's geological processes. The project was not without its challenges. The geology of the Kola Peninsula was complex, with layers of hard rock and soft sedimentary deposits. In addition, drilling at such depths presented a number of technical difficulties. The temperature at the bottom of the hole was expected to reach 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pressure would be immense. Despite these challenges, the project moved forward, and drilling began in 1970. Progress was slow, with the drill bit advancing at a rate of only a few meters per day. By 1983, the hole had reached a depth of 12,262 meters, 40,230 feet, making it the deepest hole ever drilled by humans. The scientific significance of the Kola Superdeep Borehole was immense. By drilling so deep into the Earth's crust, scientists hope to gain new insights into the planet's geology and the processes that shape it. They also hope to find evidence of life deep within the Earth, which could have implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. One of the major discoveries made at the Kola Superdeep Borehole was the presence of water at depths previously thought to be too deep for liquid water to exist. This discovery challenged existing theories about the Earth's crust and the distribution of water within it. The water also contained a variety of microorganisms, which suggested that life could indeed exist at great depths. The project also provided new insights into the composition of the Earth's crust and mantle. Scientists were able to collect rock samples from depths never before reached, and these samples provided new information about the chemical and physical properties of the Earth's interior. The data collected from the project also helped to refine models of the Earth's interior, and contributed to our understanding of the planet's tectonic activity. Despite the scientific successes of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, the project ultimately proved too difficult and expensive to continue. In 1992, Drilling was halted at a depth of 12,262 meters, and the site was abandoned. Today, the Kola Superdeep Borehole stands as a monument to human curiosity and the quest for knowledge. In conclusion, the Kola Superdeep Borehole was a scientific endeavor driven by the quest for knowledge. Although the project was ultimately unsuccessful in reaching its goal of drilling to a depth of 15,000 meters or more, it provided valuable insights into the Earth's crust and mantle, and challenged existing theories about the planet's geology. The project also demonstrated the power of human curiosity and the importance of scientific exploration in advancing our understanding of the world around us. Challenging the limits, the technology and engineering behind the Kola Superdeep Borehole. The Kola Superdeep Borehole was a project that aimed to push the limits of drilling technology and engineering. Drilling a hole to a depth of 15,000 meters, 49,200 feet, or more presented a number of technical challenges, from the extreme temperatures and pressures at such depths, to the complex geology of the Kola Peninsula. The project required innovative solutions and cutting-edge technology to overcome these challenges and make the drilling possible. One of the primary challenges of drilling the Kola Superdeep Borehole was the extreme temperature at the bottom of the hole. At a depth of 15,000 meters, the temperature was expected to reach 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit. To keep the drill bit cool and prevent it from melting, a specialized drilling fluid was used. 
This fluid, known as drilling mud, was pumped down the hole and circulated back to the surface, carrying heat away from the drill bit. Another challenge was the immense pressure at such depths. At a depth of 15,000 meters, the pressure was estimated to be more than 1,000 times greater than at the Earth's surface. This put enormous stress on the drilling equipment, and required specially designed drill bits and drill strings to withstand the pressure. The drill bit used in the Kola Super Deep Borehole was made of a tungsten carbide composite, which was able to withstand the high temperatures and pressures. The complex geology of the Kola Peninsula also presented challenges for the project. The region was characterized by layers of hard rock and soft sedimentary deposits, which made drilling difficult and required specialized equipment. To drill through the hard rock layers, a diamond-tipped drill bit was used. This bit was able to cut through even the hardest rocks, and was constantly monitored and adjusted to ensure it remained sharp. Another challenge was the stability of the hole itself. As the hole was drilled deeper, the weight of the drill string and equipment caused the hole to deform and become unstable. To address this issue, a system of casing and cementing was used. Steel casing was inserted into the hole as it was drilled, and cement was pumped down to fill the space between the casing and the rock. This helped to stabilize the hole and prevent it from collapsing. The Kola Super Deep Borehole also required innovative solutions for communication and data collection. At such depths, traditional methods of communication and data transfer were not possible. Instead, a specialized telemetry system was used to transmit data from the bottom of the hole to the surface. This system used a series of sensors and transmitters to send signals up the drill string, where they were then transmitted to the surface. Despite the challenges, the Kola Super Deep Borehole project was a remarkable feat of human engineering and technology. It pushed the limits of drilling technology and demonstrated the power of human ingenuity and innovation. Although the project was ultimately abandoned before reaching its ultimate goal, it remains a testament to the human desire to challenge the limits of what is possible. In conclusion, the technology and engineering behind the Kola Super Deep Borehole were essential to the success of the project. The extreme temperatures, pressures, and geology at such depths presented significant challenges, but innovative solutions and cutting-edge technology allowed the drilling to proceed. The project pushed the limits of what was possible with existing technology, and demonstrated the power of human ingenuity and innovation in the face of daunting challenges.